Good morning, my name is Frank Fortunato. Welcome to CADEX TV. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Nafila, the biggest ILS management firm in the world with approximately $10 billion in assets under management based in Bermuda, has long been a backer of alternative capital products for the reinsurance industry. They have tentatively moved in the past to get involved in primary insurance as the industry as a whole begins to move uh, down the food chain, in the words of Ajit Jain, closer to the primary risk to capture more premium. For example, in the past, they have structured an arrangement with Amwins, the big primary broker in the U.S. Well, on Friday afternoon, news broke that, in fact, they've done it again, this time with Marsh. Uh, the uh, whole, or I should say, the primary arm of the entity that uh, includes Guy Carpenter, which manages reinsurance broking. The Phyllis participation in an arrangement with Marsh and an underwriting management arm underneath Marsh called Shinnerer uh, is going to uh, put together uh, a follow form facility, meaning that Nephilus participation uh, is going to provide a low cost mean of accessing primary insurance business in bulk. Uh, insurance is a relatively new area for Nafila. It's been pursuing opportunities in the space, including the Amwins deal, but it's mainly been focused on the reinsurance market. Nafila co-founder Frank Major said, uh, we've created a strategic and innovative structure that enables Nafila to give insurance clients choice and also offers our investors access to risk in the U.S. commercial property retail market. Two or three years ago, this kind of move was uh, unheard of and even unspeculated about. Uh, but people have begun to wonder when the day would happen when the ILS market would begin to move down toward the primary level, and it seems to be happening in a very big way. And the decision by the UK Prime Minister Theresa May to call a snap election on June 8th to uh, get an increasing mandate for her Brexit plans and may cause a uh, slight derailment in the insurance link securities regulations that uh, supposedly were going to be ready for London sometime by mid-year. Officials have been close to releasing a final version of the proposed ILS regs. Uh, it's unclear whether or not the new government would be able to publish and consider the draft regulations before Parliament breaks for recess on July 20th, because the Parliament may be completely reconstituted based on the results of the June 8th vote. Insurance and reinsurance losses due to the claims totals reported for Cyclone Debbie in uh, Queensland and New South Wales or Australia are already reaching 1.3 billion U.S. from a total of 68,000 claims. The storm hit uh, on March 28th as a Category 4 storm, making it the strongest cyclone to hit Australia since 2015. Uh, for about a 10-minute period, there were sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Um, the structural damage caused by flooding, storm surge, and wind in regions close to the Queensland coast to have caused the most damage, but claims continue to be paid. Over the weekend, it was announced that United Airlines CEO Oscar Munoz had been denied his chance to become chairman of the airline, as he was expected to do. Uh, this was largely perceived as a result of the way the airline handled the uh, incident when the doctor was dragged off the plane at Chicago's O'Hare Airport uh, because the United flight crew had to get to Louisville. Well, over the weekend, American Airlines was the latest American carrier to uh, be the victim of a cell phone video taken by a passenger. The video surfaced showing an airline employee challenging a passenger to hit him. This was on a uh, flight that was boarding in San Francisco heading to Dallas. The confrontation shows the American Airlines uh, male employee challenging a passenger to hit him after a woman holding a baby was allegedly struck with her stroller during an argument with airline staff. American Airlines, possibly learning from United, quickly apologized and suspended the employee and uh, issued a statement saying that our uh, team members do not appear in this instance to have reflected patience or empathy, two values necessary for customer care. We are disappointed by these actions. In France yesterday, the centrist Emmanuel Macron has gone through the second round of the French election where he's going to face the far-right leader Marine Le Pen. Uh, Macron is a uh, former banker. He's seen as a political newcomer. He did serve for a while as uh, economic minister under uh, French President Hollande, the uh, current incumbent. He's now the favorite to win the runoff on May 7th. 
poll showing about 30 points ahead as the uh, people who are opposed to the rightist candidate begin to fall behind him. If Macron wins, he will be the youngest president in France at the age of 39. McCain Foods in the United States, which is best known for its potato products, has issued a recall on frozen hash browns. The company said that there could be, quote, extraneous golf ball materials inside them. The golf ball pieces are believed to have gotten into the hash browns when they were mistakenly harvested with the potatoes used to make them. According to the FDA's website, the products were not sold in Tennessee. They are not known where they were sold. Um, the uh, products were distributed at Pick and Save supermarkets in Illinois and Wisconsin. Uh, the Harris Teeter products were distributed in North Carolina, Virginia, D.C., Delaware, Maryland, and uh, South Carolina. So apparently what happened is that there was a potato field near a golf range that uh, when the combines came through and picked the potatoes, um, they picked the golf balls too. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.